Hello traders, FS Pecoletti here. Today is Tuesday, April 23rd, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full time down analysis. So on the euro dollar, we've definitely been drifting down for several months now, but I still believe that this is going to make a higher low, higher low. I still think that this is going to either go up and make an expanding flat, which would look like this, or possibly a running flat, which in that case may actually go down to one of these lower fibs. Either way, I still think we have a pretty significant move to the upside coming at some point. This is the monthly, so it may take a very long time to play out. Going down to the weekly, I'm still looking at this as a big wave one. I still think this is a big expanding flat wave two. I think that this right here is an uptrend, most likely a one of three. I still think this is possibly a wave two of wave three. If we start closing below the 78%, that's pretty much going to invalidate this as being a wave two. But guess what? I am looking for sorts on sort of time frames still primarily. So if this does just keep on going down, it really shouldn't create too much of an issue. And I could definitely see this being a one, two, three pattern to the uptrend still, even if it does end up continuing back down. Heading down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, we definitely have been drifting up, but I still think there's a good chance this is a one, two, three pattern, probably a wave four, and I still think there's a good chance this is going to go down for a wave five, probably retest this 78%. Then if it goes up, then if it breaks structure, I think that's what would turn me into a significant buyer, proving that the wave two is over and proving that this is going up for a big giant wave wave 3. So going down to the 4 hour time frame. 4 hour time frame we had some Euro PMI news this morning which did cause it to go up initially. It is starting to go back down but I still think we need to hit a Fibonacci level on the 1 hour time frame which we may as well go down to the 1 hour because that's where the clarity is for me. So on the 1 hour time frame I still think this kind of needs to hit this 38.2% Fibonacci. We do have PMI for the US dollar today too, so I still think there is a pretty good chance that this is going to go up, probably touch that 38%, but as of right now, it definitely is three waves up and impulsive down. If it does continue to make impulsive down, it could just keep on going down. We have to remember that the trend is down on all the higher time frames, so we may think that price is going to go up to the 38%, but in reality, what may actually end up happening is it may just keep on trending down and continue continue to make lower lows, lower highs, which is why, like I said, I am primarily looking for sorts on these sort of time frames. I do think there is a possibility that this still could go up at today's news, end up going up to the 38% before we really do get the push down, but trying to identify exactly when a correction is over is the difficult part, and sometimes a correction will just keep on going down, a correction will end, and the higher time frame trend will prevail, and it will just keep on trending down, making those lower lows and lower highs. So don't forget to join my free Discord group, which, link, which is linked down here in the corner. And don't forget to check out my membership program that gives you access to my daily live trading sessions. And it gives you access to all my swing trade setups by signing up at my website, fxpipcollector.com. As always, thank you and happy trading.